So we've heard a lot about containers tonight. You guys may be interested in using containers or testing them out. And we at SolarWinds have built a free tool to help you with your journey in containers. So if you've <laughs> never had containers or never tried containers but want to, we've created this free tool to help you select what you might want to use. So the questions that you'll often have when you're starting out with containers is, which containers am I going to use? Which orchestrator? Which operating system? What networking layer? And we have built this tool to help you find that information out. So here's a picture of the wonderful tool. We call it the Container Network Performance Tool, or CMON for short, which I always think of Jamaica accents. Is anybody familiar with Jamaican accents over here where they're like, hey, Mon? Uh, I have a horrible Jamaican accent. I'm sorry, but that's what I think of. Every time I see Simon, I think of a Jamaican accent. So there you see uh, some containers up there. And he makes that terrible joke every time, too. Yes. <laughs> My condolences again. I'm sorry that I'm speaking twice this evening. Uh, but there's containers. I have a little deployment out and running. And you click on a container, and you get its statistics. But as you're running through all of the different choices that you have of a container, you have all of those questions. And so who is talking to who on which container? And which of your containers need to be co-located on which server? And all of that different information. So with software comes a price. So uh, container networking is either simple or complex. You can either have the containers share the host network, in which case it just acts like the host and is able to communicate with the network through there, or you can add in some abstractions. You can have uh, bridge networks or overlay networks, and with those abstractions comes a small software layer that the, software, that the uh, container uh, orchestrators and the container systems insert in order to provide that functionality for you. But because you're adding a software layer, you end up with some performance changes. So with those performance changes, you want to be able to understand, are the containers that I'm deploying actually performing at the rate that I need? So if you are Netflix and you're streaming data, you actually need to know, is that container networking layer affecting my streaming capability? And even if you're not Netflix. So like I was saying, there's all of these different options with container networking that help you with security and VLANs and all of this different information. But you need to be able to create your network in a way that will be efficient for your deployment. So our free tool is aimed at letting you play around, change the different drivers, change the different network types, whether you're using uh, bridge networking or have different underlays flavors, whether it's Mac or IP or whatever you're doing with your underlays, you just need to be able to test that out. And our tool will help you test that out by giving you a handy dandy performance test. So you're able to select two containers within our UI and do a performance test to see how much bandwidth you can actually shove between them. And that will tell you, am I getting sufficient bandwidth for that connection on these two containers in my deployment that will satisfy my application's needs. Also, we have built a handy dandy function into the free tool that is called observations. So what you do is you deploy your application and let it run. And then the free tool will observe your application as it's running and will tell you for an optimal deployment if you should move containers to different servers. So if there's two containers that are talking a lot and they need to um, be really close together, the observations will recommend that those two containers either be placed on the same server or host if possible, or placed on hosts that have a minimal latency between them. So in this way, we're able to give you handy recommendations about how to deploy your containers. And of course, this is on Docker Hub because we love Docker Hub at SolarWinds. And you're able to just go down and uh, run these from the Docker command and just try them out and uh, give us feedback. We're on GitHub, you can go to github.com slash solar and slash containers and open up issues and we will fix them and make you happy because we want you to try out our tools and try out the containers and let us know how to be more efficient at running things within the container orchestration world. And that's a lightning talk right there. Thank you.